Welcome back to Paddy's Golf Tips. So another common theme you see a lot on YouTube is shaft lean at impact. The winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer of the year is Podrick Harrington. <laughs> This is a bit of a bugbear for me because everybody takes a static picture of impact of the hand slightly ahead, like so. But this is a dynamic position that the club is moving through, okay? So yes, we want the club and the hands to be level like so, but we want the hands to be moving and active through impact, okay? So we've got to release the club. We know from physics that that's the club head to release at its best, at its most efficient, right? If it's a pendulum, okay, we know it's not quite a pendulum, but we know if we did that, it's not, have, look, right? The power of that, okay, as you can see, through and forward, the minute I drift, you can see it didn't have anywhere near the acceleration. So if I drift with it, it doesn't. So the last thing we want through impact is our hands going forward like so. We want our hands pulling up like this and let the club it's nearly like you've got to put the brakes on in order for that head to to accelerate it's a bit like for you young people out there who are used to uh grand theft auto and games like that it's drifting the way you drift is by pulling the handbrake so the handbrake in our game is pulling up on the club the more we pull up the more the club head accelerates so that lag and even the lag in the the downswing is actually not the static picture is not what's happening so again we get to our top we pull you get this club dropping and you get this bit of lag all the great players will tell you even though they had massive lag they felt the club head was always trying to get to the golf ball accelerate okay there's very few people in the modern game that cast the club we just don't see it that much and yet 99 percent of coaching is about not casting don't worry about it, get the club head to the ball. Use your hands, accelerate as much as you can, okay? I don't mind you feeling what lag is like. You can use a towel, snap it down. A nice way for a lot of people to do, get this feeling, is actually relax their arms. So get jelly arms in the backswing. So jelly arms, okay? The more the arms are jelly in the backswing, the more the club will lag, okay? We're not gonna play like that, but it's nice to know what it feels like, okay? So a reasonably relaxed swing, we'll get more of that lag. And remember, there's two, two lags in the downswing. So the wrist lags this way and this way, okay? So there's two of them going on. We don't want so much, we wouldn't want it lagging back in this way here, increasing this angle. We want a little bit of that, and then it throws. But you don't need to worry about that. All you need to do is put the brakes on at impact and that will make your wrist work properly. The minute you try and stop at impact, it will accelerate the club. The best ball strikers all had a little bit, the best iron strikers I saw in my day, all had a little throw at the bottom. They all put that brake on and threw the club a little bit. So yes, work on getting a little bit of lag and I would say lag that way, okay? More of that sort of motion rather than that motion, okay? It's more get the club lagging out on a spiral. For me, would, I would think it's more speed. Some people, that lag is not as good, but it's there, okay? So that one isn't quite as good as that one. Now, to get it, all you have to do is put the brakes on. So again, nice and relaxed in the backswing. Again, stay in your three-quarter swing. We always like that when we're practicing. Shoulder to shoulder. Now what you will see, if I brace up here, my club will accelerate through. At this point, my club will be like that, okay? It's not like that. I do not want drift. I do not want my arms to drift. If you have a drift in your swing, you'll probably end up having big hooks. So somebody who is trying to do this, hold the, hold the angle like that, you, 
you'll actually fresh air it. So what you'll end up doing is having a big flick at impact, causing a snap hook. So by trying to hold that angle, clearly it's not the most efficient thing to do. We've shown that the pendulum accelerates like that. If I move, I don't get the acceleration. So if that is going with it, if the top of the pendulum is moving, you're not getting the acceleration at the bottom. So we want to anchor the top of the pendulum by bracing. Okay. One, two. Like so. Nice three quarter follow through. Plenty of three quarter shots, plenty of hard finishes, plenty of short. Now what's interesting about that is you can release the club through impact, have shaft lean and actually hit a fade. So I can release it that way up and under or I can release it over the top and hit a hook so I can do boat releases so and you should experiment with boat releases you, I can hit a fade and a draw from those positions but remember I am releasing that golf club through impact okay so I can finish with an open I can finish up here, up here with an open or I can finish with it over here turn but I am releasing that club through impact the club head you're releasing by putting the brakes on with the body the hips the arms, the hands. Okay. There's a great release. And if you if we get a stopped picture of that, I'll go right on. I guarantee you my hands are going to be, I am trying to throw that club as much as I can. I guarantee you when we look at that, that my hands will have been there at impact and the club is being thrown through and releasing. So by trying to get your hands ahead of it, all you're gonna do is drift. You're gonna lose speed, you're gonna lose strike, and it's eventually gonna end up as a flip and you're gonna have snap hooks with your driver. Whereas by trying to release the club, by all means, get a little bit of lag going up there. No problem with that. Okay, just for feel, but when you're playing, it's pull and stop and that gets the most acceleration with your hands in the best possible break place. You're pulling up, you're pulling into yourself at impact, like so. And that throws the club head through for the best strike, the most efficient strike, the most spin, the better distance. Everything about that is a better motion. Just get used to it with your three quarter swings and when you go and play, just play away. Let it happen naturally itself.